Hello everybody, this is Zach Zoo, and this is part 10 of Sonic 3 and Knuckles S Sonic. Sonic part 10. We're in the double digits now, we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's load up the data. Getting close to the, getting closer to the end. Getting there. Here we are. Load. This is Lava Reef Zone. Very lava hot the zone is. Because there's lava everywhere. Like, like inside an active volcano or something. Yeah. I really like Lava Reef Zone. I mean, I like the Sonic and Knuckles zones in general. Sandopolis, eh. So it's good, but I can take it or leave it. But the rest of the Sonic and Knuckles zones I really like. Mushroom Hill, Flying Battery, Lava Reef, Sky Sanctuary, Death Egg. I mean, the Sonic 3 zones are alright. But the Sonic and Knuckles zone basically knocks it out of the park. Knocks it, knocks it out of the park. They definitely got the... It's the Sonic and Knuckles half of the game is definitely the better half, he thinks. There's an extra life up here. I don't know why I'm even bothering to get those anymore. Can't carry anymore. Yep. Yeah. Lots of lava there is here. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get the checkpoint. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So I can get the glow ball stage, yeah. Glow ball. Glow ball. Oh, you know, in Flying Battery Zone, I was talking about this one remix I heard with a Lady Gag, yeah. However you pronounce it. And, uh,. And bad room, which is bad romance and flying battery act one. But right before I started this recording, somebody showed me another remix video of Lady Gaga and Sonic. It mixed together Poker Face and Lava Reef Act One, I believe it was. Poker Face. I think it was at least. Might have to double check. Abbott, is, Abbott on Twitter is one of my favorites. My favorite is the video I like, so if you're curious and care to follow my crap on Twitter, it's on there somewhere. Self plug, alright. I'm no better on Twitter than I am on here, I'll just say that. I'm more nonsensical on here. You, know, you may see me as a stiff on here with all the information and stuff. I'm more nonsensical on Twitter, I do more fun stuff, I guess. Wish I could translate that to on here, though. You see, I'm, I know my, I'm well aware that my commentary is kind of boring and dry. On Twitter, I'm more fun, I guess. No, that's the wrong way. I don't know. Eh. I wish I could do that on here, on my videos. Oh, yeah. That, that Lady Gaga mix was pretty cool. You know, I don't care for Lady Gaga. Yeah. Right, that's why a fire shield's important. You just basically stand in these and you'll be fine. No harm, no foul. <laughs> you got a fire shield. As long as you got a fire shield, you're pretty much golden. Oh, and here's that. And there's that jerk from Marble Garden. He's been upgraded with new equipment. If you're, in, if you're standing on the left side, he could shoot across to get a one up over there. But, I, but like, I said, like I said, I don't really need it, so. Yeah, that jerk from Marble Garden got an upgrade. Robotnik, you built him and upgraded him. Ugh. Hey, wrong way again. So yeah, since I got since I got the seventh, if you watch my Sandopolis Zone video, I got the seventh emerald at the very tail end of Act Two, so I can become hypersonic now, which I will when I lose my shield, more than likely. Since I saw my fire shield is really not a whole lot of points, I'm basically invulnerable to everything in the in the in the zone with a fire shield. But hypersonic flashes all seven colors of the emeralds, unlike knuckles and tails in their forms. Sonic flashes all the colors of the emeralds, and he gets the teleport dash, which teleports him in any of the directions you choose. Like I'll do it here, and it destroys all enemies on the screen, which is a useful feature. He flashes all different colors. He has stars all around him. If you, if you pause it between frames, you can, you can even see the individual colors. There is one more special stage up here, but you can't get to it. You can see the very bottom of it. Just out of hypersonic's reach with the teleport dash. Can't quite get up there. 
the teleport dash in of itself is a game breaker. You can break the game so many ways of hypersonic, it's not funny. Hypersonic is a game breaker. Game breaker. We're playing a street game. We got game breakers. NBA street, NFL street. We got game breaker. Now, hypersonic is very easy to break the game with. I won't break the I won't break the game because that usually ends up with me dying. Usually ends up with the play, pro player dying. But it's, I'm not going to do that. Here, I'm just going to. There, are, like, there are two paths here. I'm taking the highway. Here, highway up here. Get some rings before I take the low way. There. I did, I did, don't have a, didn't get a good chance to show you the teleport dash yet and how it destroys all enemies on screen. Here. There's two there for you. There's four enemies there. I could have got all four of them over if I would have timed it right. Yep, I'm going to backtrack to the low route to get more rings, mostly. That's why. I like rings. Ring whore. Ugh. There's rings up here, too, if you teleport dash up here. Or get a good, get a good jump up here. Eh. Say hypersonic eats up the rings like supersonic does. Yeah, supersonic, hypersonic, supersonic is okay. Hypersonic breaks, starts breaking the game. Hypersonic breaks all the rules. You can break the game in so many ways with hypersonic. Yeah, this is another rising, lowering lava section. Reminiscent of Hilltop Zone. Alright. Global. Alright, by pure coincidence, mind you. I'm not trying to manipulate these. No, no water. No. Water bad. What's water gonna do? What good is water gonna do in a lava zone? We're gonna head to Lava Reef, so be sure to pack your water shield. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. There are still water shields located in this zone. So you gotta be careful, don't wanna bump, knock them, hit them. If you don't, only if you don't have a shield, I recommend breaking a water shield monitor. If you have a fire or lightning shield, just leave them alone. Yeah. Dang, water shield. No, I don't want that. I already have enough lives. Ugh. Ugh. You can play. No, no, no. I guess I get more lives, I guess. There are two, two paths. Here you go, right? I forget where the switch is to go that way, or you can go up. The right path has the, one of the aforementioned water shields. There. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if I did rip, uh, do the uh, tongue fight again. If I mentioned this, but those, those eye guys at the smoke, they're like, they look like they get high and stuff. I don't know if you can see the smoke on my camera, but they spit out pink smoke that flicker. Like, bleh. hey man, what you doing? What you doing, buddy? You got some smoke there? You got, you got some smoke? Yeah. How you feeling? What's it like to feel, man? What's it like to? What's anything like, really? Mind if I join the party? Oh yeah, that feels good. Uh, yeah, you lose rings while you're in that vortex. They don't go in that, so don't grab it. They look like they get high. <laughs> Myself. Let's go. That was being. That was me being stupid. Oh, global again. Ah, what a quinky dink. Get a fire shield again. Yeah. Oh, I got 666 rings. <laughs> Another coincidence. A bunch of coincidences happening here. No, give me that. No, oh, it went away. Phew. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Give me the rings. I don't need one up. Don't need the. Uh, no. Bad touch. I can't do anything from here. I need to launch over it. But I don't want one up. Why keep giving me the one up? The oh, fire shield. Oh. Dang it. 
Oh, see the game. Ugh. The fire shield isn't as vital for the boss, so that's something at least. Let's go. Because we're right here at the end, the boss. The f he has two parts. The first part is this, is this, this ball. He just sends up two balls after you that split off into smaller balls. And the second part is his, is his hand. There. As reminiscent of the Death Egg Act 2 boss. But your final boss will get to. If you're just if you're hyper super, you can just stand there and let the hand run into you. Makes it a whole lot easier. I'm gonna try to hold on to my hold on to my rings at least. There, lightning shield. All right. Just there to warm up for the final boss, I guess. Run away. One more hit. Uh, do it. The ball thingies take four hits each. The hand takes six. So all in all, you need to do 14 hits worth of damage to him. To this guy. You never get to see this guy either. You just see the ball thingies in his hand. It's like a prototype of the final boss. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Maybe if I can get a fire show as a prize, I land in the right spot. Nope. Pretty much dead center. Now, this is, this is one of the reasons why I, I really like Lava Reef, though, more than the other zones, I guess. You see, Act 1 here is all lava, the, set, the music's pretty lively. It's all volcanic and stuff. Very active in danger. But watch this transition to Act 2 here, which will happen shortly. Watch this transition to Act 2. The music changes, but it's a more calm version, and all the lava cools down and stuff. Very drastic changes is more so than the other zones. Very, very drastic change. Uh, that's why I like Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic and Three and stuff. The, the transitions between acts of the same zone just incredible. Now, there are two. There are Robotnik monitors down there. Two more rare Robotnik monitors. Don't hit them. There's a special path here for Knuckles over there. Now, Knuckles pretty much takes its own exclusive route through this zone. There, is, there are a couple exceptions which I'll detail when I do Knuckles. There, there are two routes up here for Sonic as well. There's one to the left up there, and this way. If you want the special stage rings, you gotta go this way. Lava Reef, your last chance to get to the seven, em seven emeralds, either Super or Hyper. Either the regular Chaos Emeralds or the Super Emeralds. Lava Reef, your last chance. Yeah. Here's the first one here, your first of your last chances. Yeah. Grab it. Give me the it. Yeah. No, I want that. Give me that. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, I got fire shield. I don't have to worry about them. Ugh. Yeah, the, the dramatic change between Act 1 and Act 2 is pretty stunning, he thinks. This shocked me as a kid as well. I, said, I, I told you how much the j initial transition to just an Angel Island was impressive. This blew my socks off pretty much. This was amazing. The, how different it was from Act 1 to Act 2. It's just, just, this is a radical difference between both acts, if I say so myself. Music's all, the music more mellow, the, all the lava's cooled down. And you're in a more of a cavernous setting instead of an, an active volcano. Just a dramatic change, change of scenery. This, this is... And more puffy cloud guys. I don't need it, but I'm going to take it anyway. Ooh. Now watch out, the bottom of those platforms are spiky. And that's uh, blocked out. That's if he took the high path, the highway. Screw you, guys. Dang, dang you. Poo -poo. Go, 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 hypersonic. Everybody's hypersonic racing. 
far as I know, this is one of the only points where Hypersonic is a playable character in a game. It's usually just super. Hyper. Yeah. Hyperform. Yeah, you go hyper. I'm running out of things to say, if you can't tell. I'm running out of things to say at this point. And your last ditch chance at a special stage ring is down here. It's your last ditch chance. Absolute last one. If you don't have all seven emeralds by that by that special end of that special stage ring, you're screwed. No good ending for you. Let's can, cancel out hypersonic at least. Cancel. Elemental. Let's go. We're in the final section here. Get out of here. The last bit of platforming of this zone. Yeah. This very pretty zone of bedrock and stuff. Flintstone. Meet the Flintstone. There was a special path there which I tried to take. I failed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up there. I'm going to show you. Because it's a little known part, I think, at least. I stumbled upon it completely by accident, as most things, as most discoveries by me go, all completely by accident. I can get up on that platform first of all. Yeah. I find a lot of things by accident. Ooh, uh, dang it, I fell again. I'm having a hard time with this platform section. I'm supposed to be good at platform games. <laughs> Oh, well, I got a 10 minute time limit. Okay, and I made it this time. Fall off you. There, we made it. I mean, just hug this left wall here and you'll land on a special platform here. This little special path here. There's nothing down here, really. Just a little extra special area if you, if you like to explore. There's absolutely nothing down here, as you can see. You may notice that even though these guys say 100 points, you don't get any points from them. You saw my score wasn't changing at all. Yeah, that tube will basically launch you up here. And the final stairs. The final climb to glory. Ugh. We're almost there. We're gonna make it. You can see the death egg in the background. It's where the death egg crashed. Oh, I hear Knuckles' a song. I have to deal with him. Ugh. There he is. No, we were so close. Uh, if you're a hyper super, that would cancel out your your form. All right, this is a this is a small prelude to the boss. This is a very challenging boss fight. You cannot kill this boss by attacking it directly. This is the prelude stage before the boss. You have to outrun the. You have to outrun the auto-scrolling screen and avoid getting hit by the missiles and falling in the bottom of the pit. There is a checkpoint here, but you gotta be right up against the right side of the screen to grab it, because the screen still auto-scrolls. You have to be right up against the edge to grab it. No water shield. Aww. And the, the, the boss takes place on a lava pit, so the fire shield's kind of necessary here. This, yeah, the fire shield is kind of necessary. Last, yeah, last check. At least that's the last checkpoint too. So, get the rings. Get these rings. Don't need lives. Got plenty. There, I'll take those. Give me those. I'll take those too. Yum, yummy. Nom 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 nom. Uh oh. Aw, oh, I thought I could get to that flipper. There, it goes back to auto scrolling for a small period. There, this is the bottomless pit until you go across a certain point. There, it's when it stops becoming a bottomless pit. Then you get a few extra goodies up here before you fall down to the boss. Like I said, I recommend the fire shield. Yep, yeah, we got all the goodies. Yeah, this is the place. This is where the boss takes place. If you're a fire shield, this becomes a lot easier. Or just do that. You're just stand on the platforms here. 
he can't attack him. He can't attack Robotnik directly. What I have to do is I have to dodge and, to, and make his mind hit you. Make makes his mind hit him. So he takes, I think, twelve hits. Ten, some somewhere in the neighborhood of twelve mines, I think. It's heavily armored. So you can't damage him directly. So yeah, this is going to be a little time consuming. So you gotta have some time left on the clock for this fight. This is why a fire shield is important here. You just basically run on the lava and jump over the, the balls. You don't, have to, you don't have to worry about trying to platform on the platforms. The fire shield makes this fight a whole lot easier in comparison to the other fights with the fire shield. This is probably the boss fight where the fire shield is of most vital importance. That was 12 hits. He must take more. Yeah. How many does he take? Fifteen? I know he takes quite a bit of hits. Thirteen? Fourteen. Fourteen hits. Kind of an odd number. Not even double eight. So well. And the act. And all the lava cools down. And we're gonna transition to the final portion of the game, pretty much. There's only one more, there's two, there's three zones after this, but the next two zones, four zones technically, but three of the four zones are only single act zones. There, the music resumes and you go off to the right. There, to Hidden Palace Zone, which we'll get to next time. Which we'll do, which we'll get to next time. I'm going to do Hidden Palace and Sky, Sky Sanctuary as one, one chunk, since they're both pretty short. I'm going to do them as one, one video. There. I forgot what my commentary was about. I'm going to have to rewatch this to see if I repeated anything. I always forget my... That's one thing I don't like. I always forget my what I say about a minute after I say it. doesn't make for good commentary because I'll end up repeating myself a good bit. Uh, oh, well. I shall see you next time.